Next up, we have uh, we have a man who's uh, uh, who's well known around Open Mic America. He's one of the uh, staffers and has been, I think, since almost the very beginning. And um, is if you're lucky, sometimes you'll, you'll sometime you'll get to hear him host because he's much better at it than I am. No, but, no, uh, no, that's not true. But uh, we're gonna have uh, Rich Fastler play now. I'm gonna put him up on the spotlight. And there Rich, we go. take it away, buddy. Thank you, Mike, and uh, you're doing a great job, buddy. Um, hey, everybody, welcome uh, to lovely Bainbridge Island, Washington. <laughs> We're entering into our big dark period. Um, so uh, the first song I'm going to do is a brand new song. I finished it up about a week ago, and uh, it's a collaboration. It is, it is one of my pandemic silver lining songs because it's a collaboration with... Um, with another musician uh, from the UK, from uh, Sheffield County, uh, that I remained in, in touch with. And uh, he's, a, uh, he's a musician. He's also a great poet, and he's published uh, a few books. And so I had this little tune uh, going around in my head, but couldn't come up with the words. And so he had uh, sent me his book. Uh, there it goes, Songs of the Forest. Um, that he had published last year and he uh, sent me a copy and so i went to <laughs> kind of thumb through there and i said wow that poem would really work with this so i i uh, got in touch with him and asked him if i could uh, write a song around his uh, poem and he said yeah and so the rest is history so here it is this is called um this is called uh, into the wild wood <laughs> Run with me, wild and free, to be and breathe into the wild wood. Birds are singing, sun is shining, leaves are rustling on the tree. Earth is turning. So that was uh, words uh, by Paul Andrews and uh, music by me. Uh, okay, my, um, my next song is uh, one that I wrote about, uh, uh, about nine months ago or so. It's one of my uh, Bainbridge Island songs. Um, and um, it, uh, it, it has a phrase. I, I just want to tell you, there's a, there's a phrase. I don't know if you've heard this before. For Chawini, do you know what Chawini is? So Chawini is a um, is a mix between um, 
a chihuahua and a dachshund. And, uh, and my chihuahua happens to have some terrier in it too. So I, I, you, you'll hear that. And for those of you who you know, didn't know what chihuahua uh, you know, was, now you, now you know. So go out to your, your local shelter and get one. All right, so I am going to put a capo on for this bad boy. All right, that sounds like it might work. Here we go. Looking outside for a glimpse of the future. Pouring down rain, clouds need a suture. Maybe soon we'll get to see the sun. Jet flying low, or maybe that's thunder. Birds at the feeder, squirrels lurking under, they don't mind. I'm the only one, two, three. Well, I'm going down to the water so my blues can float away. Climbing high up that mountain in the sky. Hiking deep into Grand Forest where wild creatures abound. You know life gets lazy, but it never gets crazy when you're living on Puget Sound. Got a cute Chowini, her name is Jessie. I got her at the shelter, she was looking kinda messy. When I got her home, the little girl fit in great. Some medical issues, but I love her still. Had a visit to the vet, and after paying that bill, I guess that new guitar will have to wait. Two, three, we're going down to the water so my blues can float away. Climbing high up the mountain in the sky, hiking deep into Grand Forest where wild creatures abound. You can soar like an eagle or howl like a beagle when you're living on Puget Sound. But the view is always pretty when you're living on Puget Sound. And there you go. All right, I'm going to have All Robert right. interview you here and perhaps counsel you about some of your word choices. <laughs> you don't like Chawini? Uh, oh, oh, maybe I've got a dictionary old. right here and it knows what's right. <laughs> I got a flip coin. I can flip to uh, verify it. Uh, great. Yeah. Uh, while we were listening, Robin uh, mentioned uh, Shel Silverstein. As uh, yeah, that's uh, good. Uh, uh, it was uh, sounded close to some of his in a in a joyous way. <laughs> you know, I don't think many people 
know who uh, Shel Silverstein is. I mean, that was a uh, oh, that was a pretty good comparison. Thank yeah. you. Yes, he's he's heard some music and read some books. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's and <it>. you have too. <laughs> uh, yeah, the the reference to squirrels was close to my heart. As the last two weeks, <laughs> I've I've had a war with the the squirrels. First, the squirrels had a war in my backyard, and the squirrel, the ground squirrels chased off the tree squirrels. Then the ground squirrels started creating a, um, a underground set of tunnels that uh, all seemed to go toward and under the house. So at that point, I had to do something, and uh, I sent off uh, for a few bags of squirrel balls. <laughs> So I've been um, <laughs> pouring squirrel balls into the uh, tunnels, and uh, and I seem to be winning. Uh, and what do these squirrel balls do? Uh, do you mind me they smell bad. Oh, I see. So you know, and uh, this is no insult well, to I'm squirrels. Sure this is this is simply the uh, <laughs> just <laughs> particular thing. Photons, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> The. Uh, I like the idea of, of uh, writing about the uh, the place you come from, and and especially on on islands and and such. So I, I do the same from uh, older older pieces. Um, have you done that much, or is this a uh, standalone here? Uh, uh, no, I've got a, I've got a few others. I you know I reference in in some of my other songs. I, I reference little parts of the uh, of the island too. Um, I mean. I, I, you know, when you're uh, when you're 25 years old and uh, you know falling in and out of love, it's it's very easy to write <laughs> write songs about you know emotions and love and all that. Um, and then when you get to be my age, it's uh, wow, yeah, <laughs> look at those birds out there, or or you know, hey, let's go down to the water, or uh, let's let's, you know, uh, I, I referenced in, in the last song the Grand Forest, which is which is the biggest um, protected forest on the, on the island here, and. And so, so yeah, you know, you write what you what you know about. You know, I mean, the great yeah. thing about the first song with with Paul and in his book, he's got a whole bunch of. Um, he writes a lot about nature, and uh, he's he's he got a whole bunch of you know poems here that you know one day could find their way <laughs> combined with with my music. Um, so yeah, to answer your question, I I do reference you know. Um, little bits of uh, you know island life in the in the woods, and I mean we're pretty rural here on this island, so uh -huh. yeah, they they creep into the uh, lyrics. The uh, okay, one last thing I I have to ask you about uh, because of the uh, covers, uh, the the things on your behind you on your wall. Yes, uh, have you heard the uh, latest last Beatles song? You know, I just heard bits and pieces of it. I mean. I, <laughs> That's how they you know, made it. It, it, it. I don't know. I, I you know, I will. I, I will listen to it. I, I, it wasn't one of those things where I said, "Oh God, I got to turn that on right now," because you know, it, uh, it's, it's cool. It, it, it's nice, but it's not like when they were all together and you know, and creating music together, right? It's like, hey, let's take one of one of uh, John's songs and we'll uh, and we'll use a AI and we'll use a lot of technology today. And then we'll add a couple of other voices to it, and you know, and I know George is playing guitar on it. Yeah, okay. Um, I, it, it's not like when I was uh, well, back in the day, you know, <laughs> uh, they'd have a new album coming out, and then you know, we'd all run down to the record store, you know, and buy it and play it for hours, right? I mean, mm -hmm. it was, it's a little different. So, yeah, I, I did you see my my uh, my album cover in, on the back wall? There is the Beatles yesterday and today. I think that was the name of it. Uh -huh. That was a, um, you know, a lot of a very controversial cover, and that cover was actually um, covered up. Uh, I had a friend in in high school who um, steamed it, steamed the cover up, you know, uh, a graphic uh, to you know get the um, get the original uh, <laughs> artwork right. of them in butchers. Uh, uh, you know, clothes with uh, you know raw meat and uh, baby part, uh, or doll doll parts. Yes. Evidently, uh, someone gave them some bad advice, thinking that might be a nice nice cover for their album. But there it is on my wall. 
Yes, very good. Well, those are uh, those are rare as far as things are just as, as rare as the meat that's on them. Though. <laughs> yes, it is. Thanks, Rich. Uh, I'll uh, I'm sure I'll hear and see you again here. Oh yeah, Thanks very much. We'll we'll talk to you later. Thanks.